Hi and welcome to WEH videos. My name is Skip and today I want to talk about traffic patterns and how to land at small airports. I'm sitting here frozen in space right now on approach to Benton Field which is right up here. This is a little airport where I took my first flying lessons and I want to explain the patterns to you. A traffic pattern is like a racetrack and on one leg of the track is the runway. Now patterns are flown at a specific altitude and that's usually a thousand feet above the airport elevation. And there's two different traffic patterns and they're referred to as left traffic and right traffic. Left traffic is the most common because it's easier for the pilot to see the runway as he or she flies the pattern. However, many airports use right traffic and some even use both. And it's usually noise and terrain that are the factors uh, that determine which traffic pattern is used. So let's take a look at the traffic pattern for Benton Field that's 085 in Redding, California. This is a small non-towered airport. So this is a typical left traffic pattern. Here we have runway 33 and 15. Now each section of the pattern has a name. We have the departure leg, the crosswind leg, the downwind leg, the base leg, and the final. When landing, you will enter the pattern at the pattern altitude on the downwind leg. Then you will turn base and you are announcing each one of these turns. And then you turn final, again announcing your turn to final. And then after you land, you clear the runway, you announce that you are clear of runway. When you are flying into an untowered airport, you need to notify other pilots who are also flying to or from the same airport. And there's a radio frequency you turn your radio to, your comm radio to, to explain your intentions before you approach the airport or before you are departing. And this is a unicom station frequency. And at Benton Field, it's 122.80. Now, for example, occasionally I fly out of Benton Field. And when departing from Benton Field, I would tune my COM radio, COM1 radio, to 122.80 and give a radio call. And it would go like this. Benton traffic, Cessna 84 Delta Lima, departing runway 33, will stay in a pattern. 33 Benton. Now this is telling other pilots that I will be taking off and staying in the traffic pattern, meaning I'm going to go around staying in the pattern and I'm going to land at runway 33 again. When I do this, I must announce every turn I make. After takeoff, when I'm at about 500 feet, I would make my turn to the crosswind leg and I would announce Benton traffic, Cessna 84 Delta Lima, turning crosswind. 33 Benton. So I'm notifying everybody I'm turning crosswind. Other pilots will know exactly where I'm at. And I will continue doing this when it's time to turn downwind, which is approximately a half a mile from the airport. I would announce again Benton traffic, Cessna 84 Delta Lima, turning downwind, 33 Benton. I always repeat the 33 Benton at the end of the call so just in case other pilots miss the first part of the call they know I'm doing something on 33 Benton. I would make the same call on base, turning base and then turning final and announce when I'm clear of the runway. So how do you know when to turn base? A good rule of thumb is when the end of the runway or the beginning of the runway is at a 45 degree angle. So you're looking over your left shoulder in this case. When it's about 45 degrees, that's when you want to make your turn to base. 
and then you're going to make your turn to final and that's going to be about a half a mile to three quarters of a mile out and you're going to start your descent about when you're parallel to the beginning of the runway so right about here you're going to start your descent from the 1720 feet at Benton and you'll keep descending on your base and on your final so that's how you would enter a pattern make your calls and land and it all works the same for right traffic right traffic you would enter the downwind you would turn base and you would turn final and at Benton Field they use right traffic for runway 15 for the reasons mentioned earlier the sitting of Reading is off over in here and for noise abatement and keeping from flying over the city we use right traffic and this makes it a little more difficult because now you're looking out the right window uh, trying to see the runway so now that you've got all the details on landing at small untowered airports I'm going to demonstrate this and I'm going to use a portion of a video I did on using skyvector.com on board of war navigation uh, part four I actually did this landing uh, entering downwind for Benton runway 33 so I'm just going to insert that same video here and then after that I'll show you where you can uh, get information for the particular airport you want to fly into so now we're going to actually do the landing at Benton runway 33 so here we are at Keswick Dam we're going to call now Benton traffic Skyhawk 84 Delta Lima at Keswick Dam inbound to land runway 33 now we've notified people of our attention that we want to land at 33 we'll continue inbound when we get to the downwind we will have to announce that again to uh, Benton traffic so I'll pick it up there alright we're coming in for downwind we're gonna make a little turn here and we're gonna make a call Benton traffic Skyhawk November 84 Delta Lima downwind for 33 Benton so we're turning downwind get parallel with the runway about halfway through when we get about the middle we want to start our descent so we're gonna put the carburetor heat on and we're going to start our descent. When we get the runway about 45 degrees behind us, if we look out the window, we want to see it about 45 degrees back there. Add some flaps. And we're going to turn base. And we have to call our base as well so that's looking pretty good Benton traffic Skyhawk November 84 Delta Lima turning base 33 Benton so we'll continue our turn continue our descent and now we are on our base and we take a look over there's Benton Benton traffic Skyhawk November 84 Delta Lima turning final 33 Benton hopefully we can get this lined up and land this thing properly we're a little high So that was my little demonstration on how to land at Benton Field. You may have noticed that I started my descent just past midway on the runway, not at the very end of the runway. 
and that's perfectly okay. So to get airport information, go to skyvector.com and right here it says airports. You click on airports and now it lists literally thousands and thousands of airports. So we were at Benton Field, so let's just type in Benton Field and see what comes up. All right, Hillside Aviation, actually that's the company I fly out of up there. That's uh, Hillside Aviation at Benton Field. And here down here we have 085 Benton Field Airport. Let's click on that. And here we are, 085 Benton Field. You have a nice aerial view of the airport here. You have a sectional chart you can look at. And then here's all the airport information. And here's where we find runway 15 and 33. And down here it tells us that the traffic pattern is right traffic and left traffic. So runway 15 is right. Runway 33 is left traffic. So this is where you can get all kinds of information for your airport that you want to fly into. So uh, that's it. I hope this helps you uh, learn to get around your particular airport. I hope you got something out of this. If you liked this, please click the like button. I would love it if you'd leave a comment or send me a message. And thank you again so much for watching, and God bless.